Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to 3D print a hoop knob assist that one of our viewers sent to us. So stick around to see how we do it. So Megan, what is a hoop knob assist? So when you're about to embroider something, it's very important to make sure you tighten this enough. But sometimes it's a little hard, and if your fabric's not um, completely tight in the hoop, it can cause a few binding issues, and it won't give you very nice results. So a viewer sent us the file for this little gadget, which slips over the regular tightening screw, like so, and gives you a lot more surface area to make it a little bit easier to tighten and loosen this little screw. So the problem is, though it works with our smallest hoop and our biggest hoop, it doesn't work with our 5x7 hoop or our 4x4 hoop, just because of the design of our hoops, because it basically just gets in the way. So what we need to do is modify the file to expand it out so that it sits about here. So mm -hmm. we need to create that file. Should we get to it? Let's go. So we've opened up Fusion 360 and we're gonna go ahead and import our mesh file, which is the STL file that we got from our viewer. This is it right there? And open it up. And right off the bat, you can see it's a little bit different than a normal solid file. It's actually made up of a bunch of uh, tiny little triangles that you can see here. Um, and that implies it's a mesh file. So it's not a solid file, so we're gonna to have to convert it. And the first thing we're going to do is kind of uh, isolate the faces, which will help in the conversion process. You can see it kind of turns the different faces a little bit different colors. And then we're going to highlight the whole thing, and then we're going to go ahead and convert the mesh into a solid object. All right, there it is. And now that it's a solid object, we can actually modify it. Uh, but before we do that, because there's kind of internal uh, faces and features to this object, we're gonna go in and turn on uh, section analysis so that we can see all of those different parts. All right, now with our section analysis on, we can see all of the different features on, in the inside so that we can adjust those in our modification. So Megan, do you remember how far we had to extend this out? 46. 46 millimeters, that's right. Okay, we'll need to do that with all of the features. And there it is, modified. Looks nice. Now we just have to give the other half, right? Yeah, we'll just turn the section analysis off and that will allow us to see the whole thing. But it's important that we turned it on so that we could see the insides there mm -hmm. so to make sure that we get all of the different pieces. And there it is. What's left to do? So now we're gonna go into the tools and make, and we're gonna go ahead and export this back out into an STL file that we can then slice and print. So in Kira, we'll pull up our modified file. So one issue that we may have here, uh, because this object is so tall, now we do want it to print in this orientation because we'll get the best results with it, but because it's so tall and it doesn't have that much uh, surface to the bed, we're gonna have to add some, some kind of support to, to help with bed adhesion. Otherwise, uh, it may come loose and we'll have a nice little rat's nest we come back to. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the brim feature, which will basically add a lot more plastic to the first layer around the file, which will help with the bed adhesion. And we'll show you that when we slice it. So now we can look at our preview and you can see right here uh, that there's a bunch of 
extra plastic on that first layer that will help stick this to the bed. All right, save it, time to print. Perfect, perfect fit. It's nice and snug so it doesn't, you know, strip out. So it actually turns very nicely. Very nicely. And with that little notch out in there, it actually holds it even tighter. So, I mean, we can turn this very tight without any issues. And that's not going anywhere. Awesome, it fits perfectly. We have the hoop knob assist installed. Yeah, and they fit perfectly. They go right on, though it takes a lot of pressure to get it all the way down on the screw, but the way it was designed is perfect for something like this where you are gonna be putting a lot of stress on that. You don't want it to slip on the, uh, the little knob. So it actually fits on perfectly and we can tighten this really tight and I don't think we're gonna experience any kind of failures of, mm -hmm. of it. So it's, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. This is a really cool design and I think this is a great example of why 3D printing is so cool to make these very useful like prototypes. prototypes. Yeah. We want to thank the viewer who sent us this file so much. Again, it was a great idea and something we really didn't think about until we were like, you know what, that, that is an awesome idea and that's super helpful. Unfortunately, the original design didn't work on all of our hoops, so we just mod had to modify it just a little bit to get it to work with all of our hoops, but now it's going to be a lot easier mm -hmm. to embroider. So thank you very much. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time you post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye. And gives it a little bit more. And gives it a little bit more.